Okay, uh, in this video we're talking about bar graphs, and bar graphs are useful if you want to show uh, quantities um, as distinguished by categories. So you have, you have some categories you want to see, and usually again these categories are, are, uh, are names, and they're not numerical. Um, we showed histograms earlier, and histograms uh, divide numerical data into uh, frequencies, but this is more of, uh, you have favorite colors or you know, all these different, um, you know, in this case I'm going to use the example of types of cars, uh, but they're categories that are given a name or word, word categories, maybe I could say that. So uh, let's say I, I um, ask a bunch of teachers what kind of cars that they have, and uh, I want to know, what, um, they tell me there's, there's five teachers that have vans, and uh, we're not necessarily... Um, Finding what portion per se uh, that that all of the teachers out of all the teachers how many have bands and sedans we're not really saying that we're just showing uh, the number of, of teachers who have these types of cars so here's my data vans five sedan you know it's like a four door car is a, a six uh, K cars are three and sports car not too many teachers on sports cars but uh, one does so congratulations for him or her as the case may be. So, the first thing you want to do is to the scale for your x and y axis. Now, uh, my, my x axis, okay, is, is going to be all of these types of cars. So, I'm going to say, I'm going to label it types of cars, okay, and, and, then, uh, and then in a bar graph, there is a space between, um, and then my y is going to go up here, right? In a bar graph, there is a space between uh, the bars. So a histogram, they're connected. Uh, in a bar graph, there's going to be a space, okay? Equally spaced out, use your ruler. Uh, another drill, right? Okay, so these are going to be the vans. These are going to be the sedan, okay? These are the K cars, aka 10 cans, and these are the sports cars. Okay, uh, now, on my y-axis, I have it going up to six, so I'm going to evenly space these out. I'm going to say this is one, two, three, you're going to use a ruler, four, five, six, and in this case, I don't need to go to seven because nobody, there's not uh, seven people in one particular category. And I'm going to label this, um, Number of teachers. Okay, so that's the number of teachers that own these types of cars. So uh, now I'm going to draw the horizontal line. So since I'm not doing this on graph paper, and and uh, I'll go ahead and do this with a ruler. But if you have graph paper, then you might not necessarily uh, need to. Although it could still be helpful uh, for the the person viewing your graph to see very easily. Uh, how many there are in each category. So you can already see by my example why these um, Horizontal grid lines are helpful. Our guidelines are helpful. So uh, the, the vans, there's five. So I'm going to go all the way up to here. So I'm going to use my ruler. Okay. And then sedan, there's six. And K cars, there's three. See it even easier. And then now we can compare the data. We can see, wow, there's a lot of people with sedans and 
there's, there, we can also see very easily there's twice as many people with sedans as K cars. I know you can see that to some degree by looking at the numbers, but this is a, a more visual uh, you know, comparison maybe you could do. Uh, so anyway, you can look at this and evaluate the data uh, for bar graph. Okay, so pretty easy. Uh, I hope so. And just make sure that you get the scaling and the, uh, you know, all of the labels correctly. You give your graph a title, something uh, interesting, but tells the people what they're looking at. And uh, thank you for watching.